So this is a project where I'd like to make a larger version of this piece of, or this style of a box out of 22 gauge sheet metal. So I have picked up a piece um, from just from Home Depot, just uh, you know, locally available uh, stuff. And what I've gone ahead and done is scribed a line, which you can see it's a little hard tricky to show in the video, um, but that's three inches in. I've done that with my calipers. That will give me the appropriate uh, leftover piece, which I'll then need to cut the corners out of and um, and then set up for the box and pan break. So um, I just finished my bandsaw and I've got my fence set up here to cut that line perfectly. So that's the first. box uh, proportion um, here seen in the miniature is going to be six inches across and then these sides will come out three inches. So what I've got here is a 9 by 12 piece so um, what I've got to do is mark off um, where I'm basically going to cut out the corners and then set it up for the box and pan break. So I've got my caliper set to three inches here and I'm going to carefully try to scribe the lines. So if you can see, I've now got the line scribed, and obviously I'm going to cut out the four corners here, which will then leave me with my base shape to bend. Uh, as you notice there, a little tricky with, with only one set of hands to scribe those. I'm waiting to get my new workbench, which will allow me to secure this down and, and scribe them, which would be a little bit more accurate, but uh, for now this should be Okay, so I've got half of the corner parts cut. I'm going to rotate my fence and I'll cut um, the other pieces now and then I'll get rid of my corners and we'll get ready for the press break or the uh, box. Okay, I've readjusted my fence, uh, which by the way is working out great. Um, as I'm setting it up, I'm finding that it's the, um, you know, it's very easy to make sort of micro adjustments and lock it down. Um, it stays accurate and it always seems to be uh, parallel of the blade and perpendicular to the workpiece, which is exactly what I was looking for. So here's a, uh, this should be uh, the first corner off.
there we go. Uh, very clean cut. Um, you know, I'd be considering purchasing a notcher, uh, which would do this in a more accurate and certainly quicker and less noisy fashion. But for now, I'm going to get by with the bandsaw and I'm pretty happy with that. Great, so the four corner pieces are out. Here's my original 9x12 piece, and four corners are cut. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is carefully take, uh, make bends on my box and pan brake along those four edges, and we'll see what we You'll notice the finger is not parallel with the brake bar, so what I'm going to do is move this piece here. And if you look now, it is quite close to even. That's an important adjustment. Um, I don't think they, they set this when it comes to the factory, and you want to make sure that... All right, I'm all lined up. I've got my piece locked down, so we're going to go ahead and bend it. So that's 90. I'll go a little further. All right, there's the first bend. Uh, looks good. Pretty perpendicular, 90 degrees, so we'll move on to the second bend. All right, I'm locked down and positioned up for the second bend. Here we go. All right, here we are after the two bends, looking pretty good. I'm going to change my fingers and we'll make the last two bends. All right, so I found a problem here. I uh, My brake is too small to uh, allow for these three inch sides, which have I already bent, to uh, fit in the back area. So I'm going to try and bend it part way here in the front and we'll see if I can finish it off on uh, by hand. But um, definitely a, a limitation, so need to see what so I've made the bend, and as you can see, I only can bend till about this far, and then these side walls are hitting the T-slot groove, which results in a piece this big. So I'm going to see if I can finish this one. Okay, so uh, I was able to finish the bend by hand, but uh, really not in, a, uh, in an acceptable manner. As you can see, the radius of the bend is much larger than the line here, which gives you an appreciation for how good a job the brake does, um, but obviously this... Uh, by just finishing it by hand uh, is, is not acceptable. So we'll need to go back to the drawing board and figure out what my options are, so stay tuned. Okay, final update. I was able to uh, fix the problem. I'm not sure if it's a long-term solution, but it worked for now. As you can see, I've got clean breaks on all four of the corners, on all four of the pieces. And the way I did this, um, sorry, I won't be able to show you, is I basically put the piece uh, back in the and took the two uh, the two two side walls which I had first bent and I unbent them about halfway. Um, the crease was already there, which I think is what was the trick here. Then I went ahead and bent the two um, longer walls to 90 degrees, which gave them their the crease that they needed. And then I bent these back mostly by hand and just finished them off with a hammer. Um, it wasn't too hard, like I said, because the crease was already there and they had already been bent to 90 degrees. I think I'd like to find a better solution for the long term, but um, mission accomplished today. Uh, we're pretty happy with the end result.